So a few weeks ago we did a uh, uh, sort of disability dementia uh, video, uh, all the problems we were coming across and uh, fortunately uh, Debbie's mum is now out of hospital a few days ago and uh, we have taken delivery oh, <laughs> let's try again. So a few weeks ago we did a uh, disability uh, sort of uh, dementia video and what help is and isn't available and how hard things have been. Debbie's mum is now out of hospital and uh, one of the things uh, we need to do is to be able to get her in safely to the caravan and uh, I don't know whether I mentioned this before but looking at the various options I came across this motor step and it's a uh, battery powered lift that one person can stand on and it goes up high enough so you can just walk straight into the caravan so I just thought we would do a quick I'm not going to do an unboxing it's too bloody big I can't get uh, all of it on film anyway but we had two parcels delivered one lithium battery one the actual unit so I'm going to get it unboxed and uh, get it together and we'll have a a closer look at it. Uh, these are not cheap, we're talking about 1800 uh, quid um, but uh, this one has a remote control which is an optional extra about 90 quid and you can also get it with a uh, frame all around it as well uh, which we don't particularly need but it is available but anyway let's get this uh, open and have a closer look. Okay, so just back again with the uh, first part, which is the lithium ion battery. We have a very nicely produced battery pack with uh, anodized aluminium main housing with plastic ends. Obviously, oops, it's been specifically made for this company. If we can get that in focus, it's motor step. At the end we've got a charge point uh, to go with the lithium ion uh, charger. This is 29.4 uh, volts at 2 amps. It just slides out the way and it plugs in there. We've then got a key, well, a pair of keys. We've got a locking position. So that's unlocked. That uh, is in. You can then lock it to whatever of to the actual lift and then you can turn it on and the key is locked in place so it's very nice we've got a carry handle on the end and also there is a button for checking the charge level in my case the uh, just the two LEDs are lit and I would have thought the Oh no, I suppose it's either, if it's empty it's just that one, if it's full it's perhaps just that one, anywhere in between and it's the two. So yeah, pretty uh, sturdy, it's uh, very nice, I can see why this was uh, so expensive, I was not expecting to see a fully housed unit with all the bits and pieces. Uh, so it looks like, yeah that plugs in an IEC connector that goes in there and it looks like this is the other end that goes into the actual uh, steps with a cap and rubber seal all looks to be pretty well made so that is the battery pack we'll move on and I'll get the actual steps out So back again, just thought I would show you how well this has been packaged. I think that's probably the remote control. More keys, don't know what that's for. Uh, keys up there for the actual push buttons. That's the platform that folds down. Now there is a nice instruction book. So it's very well wrapped up, very well protected. Just look at it, expecting really sharp edges here, but uh, actually that's been welded, or it's been folded over, and uh, not particularly sharp at all. Yeah, well it's good so far. We will get that out and uh, have a closer look. All right, back again, all unwrapped. We've got some. Uh, 
zip ties to undo so we can pull everything down. We've got to remove all of the protective sheets. We'll do that in a minute. More keys for uh, in here. That is up and down so you would just hold on to this and operate the buttons. I think this is the port for the remote control which I think is over there with the nice instruction book. We've got a lifting point here. <coughs> Two keys, that is the power. So we've got legs that come down, platform to come down. I was trying to see where the battery goes and then it became obvious that it slots onto here. You can see the cable ties. Again, this acrylic sheet just sealing everything in. A couple of knobs there. Don't know what that's for at the moment. We'll have a little read up. Now, if anyone that's buying this or is uh, disabled in any way, you can get uh, VAT uh, relief. You will not need to pay VAT on that. And when they send this through, there is a, uh, a form uh, that you fill in and just post back to them. I think all this is personalised, so I'm not going to be able to show you, but it's all been uh, very nicely produced. There's even a spare uh, fuse. Uh, hopefully the instructions are in there. In fact, if I just uh, move this away, let's see if we can pull out the personalised stuff. So basically we have a thank you for your purchase, we have the receipt, we have a, well that's a nice touch, a uh, stamped addressed envelope, uh, we have the VAT relief form, uh, we have the model serial number, battery serial number and uh, yeah just the uh, instructions, it all looks pretty straightforward all explained and uh, mounting the battery, operating instructions, transportation and storage, maintenance, power failure override, uh, oh it's a manual winding system, oh, that's interesting, a very useful feature if the power ever goes off, yeah excellent, maintenance, warranty, uh, two year warranty so uh, yeah not too bad but a fault finding guide there as well and uh, that's it in uh, well it's just there advertising leaflet I think we'll lift 20 stones in weight up to 24 inches so absolutely perfect oh, just uh, a few of those then. <laughs> And uh, that's it. So yes, I suppose whilst we're uh, at this point, no, I'm going to do it separately. I can't unwrap that with one hand. So we'll be back in a minute looking at the remote. So here's the supplied remote control, and uh, you can see from the size that I, yeah, with my hand that it's a, a pretty big old box. And I thought to myself, well, I would have much preferred a little thing with a rocker switch, perhaps. And then you have to consider the target audience. Uh, so possibly a disabled person or partner who's elderly uh, may much prefer a much bigger and easier to hold remote control uh, that is of you know nice size to sit in a hand uh, if you've got any issues arthritis whatever you're going to be able to use this I would think without uh, too many problems even with uh, two hands one holding it one pressing the buttons so yes all incredibly well presented well wrapped uh, very impressed uh, so far entirely sure why that one shows a sort of carbon <laughs> finish when um, that is not what we've got at all on there perhaps this is uh, an older version I don't know why they would show that just have a look on this one. I uh, can't tell from that photo, but uh, yeah, so far uh, so good. We'll get these cable ties cut, and we'll have a, uh, a closer look. Okay, so 
all assembled and cable ties removed. We have the port there for the remote control and we've uh, thoughtfully put some velcro to stick it on there which is nice. Might have been nicer if that was a 90 degree thing out the back rather than sat there where it might get grabbed and snapped off. A little loose in there, not the end of the world. So we've got simple up and down, on and off. Around the back, the battery mounts just on that rail, and you can just lift that straight off when it's unlocked, like so. You can lock it in position and remove the key, and you can turn it on. Again, simple connection there. No issues with it getting in the way. I'm not so sure I like the engineering behind this bit. This is the only thing I would not like. I've got a very nice support arm here, but I would prefer to have seen no thread on the area that is inside that bushing. Let me see if I can zoom in. I really don't want to see such a nice bush. Uh, <laughs> being damaged by this um, this thread <laughs> over time. I mean, you're not going to be taking this in and out, but just uh, I don't particularly like that. I would have preferred the threaded part not to be there for the width of that bush. And uh, yeah, it all unscrews uh, and folds away, but. Yeah, as far as the operation is concerned, you literally just stand on it and uh, press the button. You can see the handle coming out there. So in our case, the person would be standing this way and at the right height, they would just walk straight out into the caravan. It's pretty stable, I've got no issues with that. going to step off it for a minute. It does say 24 inch height but uh, when I checked a moment ago it was 23. Let me just put the camera there for a minute. So that's on the floor and we've got uh, 23 inches fraction over perhaps but definitely not the 24 that I think it says in the booklet. So other than that, and the minor complaint about these threaded bits going into here when I would have preferred a solid piece, a nice soft silicon-ish sort of wheels, incredibly well made, got no problems at all, there's micro switches under the three sides. Same this side. Hopefully you can hear that clicking. And uh, so if somebody else can operate it with the remote control. It's relatively quick uh, for this sort of device. I think overall they've done a pretty good job. That acrylic is going to be a bugger for the dust. Um, but it's probably some anti-static spray on there is going to be needed. I, you know, I'm really not keen on this at all. I would have much preferred to have seen that done differently. So yeah, just the height, one inch out. Not happy with uh, that bit. And I certainly don't like that. If you've got a frail person that might just grab it, I can just see that snapping uh, straight off when uh, the person grabs the wrong uh, piece. But uh, a minor complaint, I suppose. If you could be bothered, I suppose you could uh, disassemble this and hardwire this in. Uh, I think there was only a three like that's so loose that's not uh, undoing now. Yeah so uh, I do not like that uh, particularly uh, very much so uh, 
Yeah, that's it. I'm uh, just going to get it charged now and uh, we'll get that turned off top and bottom and then plug the charger in. That's just in the side here. And there's no indication on the battery, but you do get a red charge light there, and that will go green uh, when it's stopped charging. So, uh, Jimmy. <laughs> uh, yes, please. So, overall impression is uh, well, it's expensive, but I think it's probably well worth it. It's been very well made couple of minor niggles that I would have altered myself if I was designing this um, maybe they've got plans to in the future incredibly well packed a lot of attention to detail got it to us in the three weeks that we requested it to be delivered in so pleased with that the paperwork and uh, attention to detail there is excellent speaking to them on the phone they were incredibly friendly and helpful and it's just so nice to be able to buy something that's been made in the UK it really is um, you know, even this where they have uh, cut 45 degrees they have attempted just to file that so there's no sharp edges uh, which again is a a nice touch stuff from China would certainly be having sharp edges everywhere you can think of and even on the deck here it's uh, it's all been very nicely made so we are impressed I think overall uh, it's going to solve our problem and uh, oh actually I just realized I think there's a screw at the top so I wonder when you fold this up whether that will strut, strut screws into there We'll uh, have to take it apart and uh, see. But uh, yes, well made and uh, made in the UK. A lot of people give up caravanning. Uh, in fact, my dad has uh, surprisingly just given up caravanning a couple of weeks ago. Sold the caravan, sold the car, uh, but he is 85 and uh, suffers from a bit of uh, arthritis, which I think is quite painful. But if you can afford this sort of thing, there are ways of getting around the disabilities uh, on our caravan which I'm funny enough going to do a video on uh, shortly uh, to show you how your 26 grand caravan can fall apart in five years uh, <laughs> that will be another video uh, perhaps later on this week um, but we have hydraulic uh, self-leveling legs on that uh, a mover system so I you know whenever we roll up somewhere we literally just press a few buttons and the whole lot is uh, in place and the level. Uh, somebody again with problems having this as well. The only downside I suppose is the weight uh, but I should imagine if you are uh, you know a couple and you both got problems uh, maybe somebody on the site if they're uh, pre-warned they could perhaps lift this out of your caravan for you and, and get it in place. Um, yeah because if you've got disabilities you're not going to be able to lift this on your own I wouldn't think uh, you know you're a normal average adult will um, but it's something to bear in mind you're going to need somebody else to lift this in and out um, so yeah look hope that was useful it's uh, it's an option isn't it so uh, if you still want to carry on uh, we had no choice we wouldn't be able to get Debbie's mum in the caravan she just can't do the steps uh, anymore she's too infirm to uh, to do that the only other thing I had considered was uh, some sort of uh, seat belt you know a strap that can go around her and then around the tube so it just gives her a bit of support from you know going backwards uh, you know this way but if she's facing the caravan which would be sat here facing towards me then that is not going to help because if she, if she fell backwards she would simply swing around the uh, uh, the handle and off uh, but those they say they do do a frame we decided not to go with it because it wasn't going to be available in time but there is a metal frame that goes with this and I think they pre-drilled the holes for us in case we uh, want to add that at a later date and in fact I can see they've drilled the holes for us there 
Um, so yeah, I thoroughly recommend this I think if you can afford this sort of thing you still want to go caravanning or motorhome of course this will uh, get you up a whole different range of steps uh, in fact we will be trying it possibly with some ramps to get up a bigger flight of steps um, but that will be for another day anyway look at look at the motor step uh, UK company UK made uh, so I suspect some of the components were obviously made in China but you can't win them all uh, one clever feature that I forgot to mention what happens when the battery fails and you're halfway up or halfway down <laughs> Well, you take this bung off and you have a little winder and uh, you can now wind this up or down from uh, wherever you are. Very clever. Except you've got to put it back in the right position. So let's just line that there and that should go straight back in. So yeah, very clever uh, feature. It even tells you which way to turn it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, excellent.